Hey Siri, what should everyone do while watching my video? Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to AJ170's name so you never miss a video. Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170 and today I'm going to be bringing you guys yet another brand new video. And for today's video, this is something I have gotten so many requests about and I have finally found it. It is a full-on real Photoshop alternative, guys. This is not something that is just some crappy little trim and crop app this is done through a website and it is literally a full-on photoshop alternative there's li that's literally what it is it is based off of the computer version of photoshop so some of you might be confused on how to use the app and what it is and everything like that um, i'm just going to show a couple of the small basics inside this video if you guys are really interested in using this app you'll play around with it yourselves and figure out how to use it but uh, yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I jump right in, can I get 170 likes? Also, if you guys are new, support the 170 and subscribe. With all that said, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm clearly on my iPhone now. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the website, the link inside the description. Once you guys get here, I'll see that pop up. Go ahead, click new project. Right here, you guys can select how big you want your canvas to be. I'm just going to keep it at the default and just hit create. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just uh, you can also do landscape mode, too. I prefer it inside of uh, the just normal portrait mode. I think it's a lot easier to do that. To scroll left and right guys all you have to do is put your finger next to the ad on the bottom and just scroll that way so I'm gonna go ahead put in a photo I'm just gonna do a picture on my lock screen I took the other day I don't even remember taking the picture but I apparently I have so I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna do a couple little small things um, for example you can click on that magnifying glass in the bottom to zoom in and out of the photo which is really useful that took me a few seconds to figure out. I was playing around with this for a little bit. Another thing uh, that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is just cropping, trimming, uh, just a couple of basics. Here's the gradient tool. I'm going to go ahead. Let's do some black and yellow. Should have done gray. That would have been matched my YouTube channel, but oh well. Let me get this to where it looks nice. I think that looks pretty nice right there. So now let's go ahead and mess around with the trim options. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a stroke right here. Let's make it red so it's clearly noticeable. Make it nice and thick, just the way she likes it. And there we go. Now let's fill this in. Now one of the things I am having trouble with is actually trying to get text to appear on this. Um, I, I don't know why the text won't actually completely go onto it, but it's it's really weird. As you can see, I'm trying to do some text right now, but it's it's not showing. Um, one of the things I tried is I tried making it bigger. I tried changing the color. I don't know if I need to go to layers and just move the layer around or what. I didn't play too much with this. This isn't like really my personal favorite thing. I'm not a huge fan of it. So let's go ahead, let's try changing it to white and it, it still just doesn't show as you guys can see. Maybe someone else can figure out how to do text and put on, uh, tell us inside the description how you did it. Again, I could not figure it out to save my life. But it should be showing up. I, have, I think what it is, I think it's a layer issue. I didn't think of this when I was making the video, but uh, yeah. So that's basically the basics I'm going to be showing off here. Um, you can crop it and trim it. I was, uh, was having a little bit of trouble trying to figure that whole thing out exactly. I also don't like the fact that this doesn't have a select pixels option or select outline type of thing. Couldn't find anything along the lines of that inside of this, which is really disappointing. Messed around with a few different little things. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to teach you guys how to actually save and export anything. So what you're going to want to do is go to File, go to Export As, and then PNG. Now wait, uh, and then you can see this right here. You can select your uh, the quality, and, and then the, you can also adjust the size of it again. Just go ahead, click on Save. 
And it's going to open you a new tab. What you're going to do now is click on More, then click on Save Image. It's literally as simple as that, guys. Now you can go back into the Photos app, and then here it is right here, guys. Literally as simple as that. You can even edit it inside of the Photos app if you wanted to. I'm actually going to go ahead and crop it a little bit and draw AJ inside the center because that's what I wanted to do. Let's go. Now all we got to do is select the pencil. All right, and there we go. I have a nice little wallpaper now. Such a beautiful wallpaper, guys. But uh, yeah, that's basically going to be pretty much just about it for this video, guys. Uh, this is the best I could find for a Photoshop alternative. The, clo the next closest there is is Pixelmator, and that's complete ass. So yeah, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's going to be just about it. This is AJ170, signing out. See you guys next time.